monkeys, it's Miss Megan here to do our Bible time. First, let's say a prayer and thank God for this day. Dear God, thank you so much for this weather. Thank you for the sunshine that helps our plants grow and is so warm and beautiful for us to play in. And thank you for our families and our good health. And we just pray for everyone to stay well. And then we pray, amen. All right, so this is our Bible, right? And every word in our Bible is true. We love to hear the stories that Jesus wants us to know, right? All right, so I found a perfect story for you guys this week. All right, we've got Jesus here. Can you see what he's doing? He's washing somebody's feet. It says, Jesus is washing the feet of one of his friends. Usually, big people wash their own feet. They don't like to wash other people's feet. But we should help other people even when we don't want to. Can you think of a time when you wanted to play, but you helped your mom instead? And friends, this is from the book of John 13. So, first of all, Jesus is doing this for his friend to show his friend that he loves him and cares for him. That's why he's washing his feet. And then our other lesson from this Bible story is it's talking about helping others. And that's a way to show them that, they, that you love them. So I want you to try to think of a way that you can help your mom or your dad or your friend or your, well, probably not seeing a lot of friends right now, but your brothers or your sisters. Maybe you could help pick up some toys or maybe you could put the napkins on the table before dinner. Um, or maybe just give somebody a hug when they look like they could use a little bit extra hugs because I know you guys give the very best hugs. All right, so I want y'all to pray to God and ask him for ways to show you ways that you can help others just the way Jesus showed his love to others when he washed his disciples' feet. All right, I can't wait to see you guys. I miss you so very much. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.